Welcome everyone to the Central Church Podcast. My name is Brooke and here today um, we just want to talk about the creativity of God um, and what that means for us as followers of Jesus. Um, and here with me today to talk about that a little more, we have a guest um, with us and her name is Samantha Curtis. So uh, before we get going into um, this topic and the theme of today, I'd love for you, Sam, to just um, tell us a little bit about you. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, like you said, my name is Samantha Curtis, and um, I am the Augusta Campus Worship Leader here at Central Church, and so um, I oversee all things worship here at our Augusta Campus, and uh, I'm also a wife to my husband, Joe. Um, he's a media director here at our Augusta Campus, so um, we kind of work together to create the, the worship experience here um, in Augusta, and uh, also, I'm a mom to my son, uh, Colton. He is five years old, and uh, he's mini Joe all the way. Um, but yeah, I love him so much. And uh, yeah, I'm just really thankful for the many blessings that God has, has given me in my life, um, the life that he's given me. And uh, um really thankful that I get to use the gifts and talents that he's given me to give back to him. So yeah. Well, awesome. Um... Thank you again for being here, and um, I think that you and really your your family is the just perfect um, family to talk about um, serving a creative God, <laughs> um, because not yeah. just you, but Joe, your husband, and um, really a lot of your friends and friends and family are, um, are just very creative, and you guys have kind of um, just found ways to serve God in that, and that's really awesome, and um, because we do serve a really creative God. It's, um, you know, he's kind of modeled that for us already, um, which is just really, really awesome. Um, and so today we just want to talk about that a little bit more um, and what that means for us as followers of Jesus. Um, I think that, you know, he, he demonstrates such um, beauty and creativity in his creation of the world and in us. Um, but Sam, I'd love to just hear from you. How do you think God demonstrates his creativity? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, like you just said, um, you know, one of the, the biggest ways that we can uh, see God's creativity is through creation. Um, you know, God created everything, everything that we see, everything that we know. Um, he is creativity. He's the essence of it. Um, and it's so easy easy to to see um his creativity all throughout this world i mean um i think of you know sunrises and sunsets when um, you go outside and you see those i think of a painter um you know the many different colors the different brush strokes and different patterns in the sky um and then also here in maine we're in the changing of the seasons um heading into fall with all the, the different colors of the leaves changing and the different patterns on the leaves as well and how everything is just so intricately uh, designed and, and everything's different too as well. Um, and then also um, the creation of you know animals. <laughs> um, me and my son, we're kind of animal geeks and uh, we, we love to watch National Geographic and um, you know see all the different animals that are out there and um, just most recently we were just watching an episode and um it had this kind of deer like looking animal but it had these spiral horns on the top of it um which i'd never ever seen before um but it was just so cool just to see you know the many different things that god has created and, mm. and so beautifully and uniquely made and then um so i guess it's it's one of the easiest ways for us to to see god's create um creativity is you know, through creation, through ourselves, like walk outside, you can see it, um, look in the mirror, you can see it. Um, so yeah, God is, is so awesome um, with just displaying his creation um, and creativity everywhere we can look. Um, but then also, I also think of, um, you know, us as believers, um, everything that you know, we do all the things that we create, all the ideas that, you know, we come up with is simply, you know, God's, you know, him pouring into us. And then the simply whatever others see is simply what he's doing in us. And um, 
you know, being a part of the worship team um, and being, uh, you know, a, a core part of the, the more creative aspect of our services, the worship, um, we have that opportunity to be more creative in the things that we do and the, um, the songs we sing, um, you know, the different lights and, and all of these things. Um, and so that's simply whatever you're seeing is simply just like the ideas that God has, has put into our, our hearts and souls. And um, it's his, ultimately his creativity um, inside of us. So, yeah, well said. <laughs> don't really have much <laughs> to add to that, but um, <laughs> I love what you said about he's not just, um, he's not only just displaying, displaying creativity, but he is creativity. Um, yeah. I love that. And it's so true because like you can see it just modeled in us, you know, because we were created in his image. Like you're talking about, you know, our ideas um, are really just a reflection of him. Um, and that's just such a beautiful thing. And I don't think it's something that we really think of very often. You know, we think of like, these are my ideas or my talents, you know, and right. but really, you know, our creativity as followers of Jesus needs Jesus. You know, there are so many uh, creative minds out there in the world today, um, you know, celebrities and these talented people. But, um, you know, for us, as people who say we love the Lord and want to follow him, you know, it should change the direction of our works, you know, um, right. where, you know, he becomes greater. And I think that was really well said with what you were talking about, you know, because like, you have these ideas and stuff, but really it's so you can lead people into worship or, you know, whatever it is. Um, and I, I think that's such an important aspect of it. You know, not only are we creative, but what we're going to do with our creativity. Um, mm -hmm. And I love this quote from the Gospel Coalition. It says, um, Christ does not stand against your creativity, but he does stand over it. Your creativity was and will always be an instrument of worship. The gospel recreates all of you so that every part of you, including your creativity, is from Christ, through Christ, and to Christ. The gospel retunes your creativity to sing his grace. It recreates your creativity so that it can finally do what um, we were made to do, which is to bring him glory forever. Um, and it's really what it's all about, you know, and I think, um, uh, might be speaking for you, but like, that's what you want when you're up on stage is not just for us to see Sam, oh, she, she's being so creative and worshiping in such a great way, but for us to see God modeled through you, yeah. through your ideas and your heart. Um, and you know, that's really what it's all about. And, and it's nothing new, you know? We, we see it maybe modeled in a different way now, you know, through lights and photography and, um, you know, new instruments or new sounds. But, you know, God has always, you know, given these really cool ideas to his people um, for his glory. You know, there's like a ton of examples in the Bible of it. But even in the Old Testament, you know, where um, we were talking earlier before we started recording, of, we were both thinking of um, Bezalel. Um, who was just chosen to play this like major role in the creation of the tabernacle um, that the Lord construct, uh, instructed Moses to build. And it says that he was given a spirit of God with wisdom and understanding, with knowledge of all kinds of skills to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones, to work in wood, and to gauge, engage in all kinds of crafts. Um, and I just love that, you know, I think of, you know, him and, you know, carpenters today and, you know, all kinds mm -hmm. of different uh, crafts and things like that. We don't typically think of um, those skills as being skills that translate to the worship of Jesus, but they can right, and yeah. they should. Yeah. And it's like this awesome thing that we get to do. Um, and, you know, even King David, he, you know, we think of him as like the king and then the, this like mighty warrior all the time, which he was, but he also was like a gifted um, musician and a gifted, um, you know, writer who, um, that was a huge part of his relationship with God. And, you know, if we read through the Psalms today, like there's 
still like that's creating an impact for God's kingdom today through his like expression of his creative uh, mind that God gave him and kind of like freaking out over that because it's just so cool that we (laughs) serve God that will do that for us um, and lets us express that in that way. Um, And, you know, our creativity, I think, is at its best too when it is done to glorify the Lord. Um, It just becomes bigger than ourselves Mm. um, and far more impactful. I think I talk to a lot of people who have like kind of been on both sides of it before they knew Jesus and, you know, whatever it was, whatever their skill was, it was great and it was fun. But once they started using that skill to glorify God, it just got so much better, you know, and it just became so much more meaningful for them too. Um, Because that's what we were created to do. We were designed to do that, you know, whatever gift you have um, received to serve others in that um, just as faithful stewards of God's grace. Um, You know, and there's so many places in the Bible, you know, where it talks about that. But um, I think of first Peter four, 10 and 11, it says, if anyone speaks, they should do as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves they should do it with the strength god provides so that in all things god all things god may be praised through jesus christ to him be the glory and the power forever and ever amen um so it doesn't really matter what it is you know um, as long as god is being glorified um through it um right and i think sam you would agree with this and um i would just love to hear your your thoughts on that a little bit of um just how um, in your different ways that you've served and created um, and been a part of things that have been created, just um, how you have seen God move in that, um, how you kind of have seen him glorified in that. Um, Yeah, just, I should stop talking, you talk. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, obviously I see it a a ton um, on the worship team, just, um, you know, seeing hearts pour out to God through worship, through um, music and um, melodies and, and words and lyrics that, you know, God has not only put on other people's hearts, the, the different songs that we sing from other artists, but also from songs um, for uh, from us on the worship team. A few of us have I've been in a, a really great season of, of writing. God has used um, this kind of difficult season during all what's going on um, to kind of um, use this time for us to, to set aside time to, to write and to compose songs of our own. And uh, I think one of the, the biggest ways that I have I've seen you know, God's creativity through myself um, is through writing. Um, I, I think of specifically the song um, that he gave me, uh, Vessel, Have Your Way. Um, that song, a lot of people don't know that um, it just started as a, a small lyric that I was just singing over and over at, at my house while I was cleaning. Um, I just kept having this song, uh, this lyric in my head, uh, who you are is who I want to be. Um, make your love become the air that I breathe. And uh, I just kept singing that over and over. And I really loved that concept of, of you know, making his love the air that we breathe so that, you know, everything that goes inside of us is, is his love. And so whatever comes inside, whatever we're retaining, whatever we're receiving is, is simply going to overflow and um, look like Jesus. And uh, really, that was just a prayer um, from that song that God would just come in and have his way um, in our hearts so that others would see um, him through us. And, and really, that's um, what creativity is, is that, you know, others seeing him through us through whatever we do through the ideas and um things that you know we put out there it's it's really god just pouring into us and um this song was was such a <clears throat> an awesome way to see that um because really it was it was almost like the song was already written um me and adam on a zoom call <laughs> um we finished the song and and it was so easy and the words just flowed and uh really that was just god you know writing it down on our hearts and then um, the creativity, you know, spilling out onto the lyrics and to the melodies. Um, and now it has become a song that um, has been used during this season to help, you know, strengthen us um, and to, 
you know, to remind us that, you know, God is the center of it all. And um, if anything in this life is going to change, um, it's going to be Jesus. And um, he's going to, to change us on the inside out. And uh, <clears throat> we've been able to have music videos for this. Uh, just recently, we put out a music video for this song. Um, we've had so many people uh, message us uh, of how much it touched them. And um, honestly, it's touched my own heart, just, um, you know, having these lyrics that I can just sing over and over at my house while I'm vacuuming my floor. Um, just seeing that, you know, God, um, his creativity, you know, through us can be used in such huge, um, large ways. And um, just having that small part of it is such a blessing um, that God would use us um, to to magnify, you know, his name. That's a blessing for us in itself um, that God would just choose us um, to, to do his work here on earth and, uh, you know, give us a small amount of creativity that we have compared to him. Um, it's, such, it's so cool to be a part of. So. Uh, yeah, I, I love hearing the, the progression of that story, you know, from the one line that God had given you, this like little idea really um, all the way to it being, you know, this, this song that we're now singing and people are um, using as like a, a very clear time of worship to God. And um, mm. I, I love that because, you know, it, it doesn't always have to be this, this grand thing. Um, you know, it can start off small and, and just grow into something so powerful because that's really what God does, you know. Um, and, you know, I, it's not just music, you know, we have um, so many things, you know, you mentioned the music video, you know, that is full of like creative minds, you know, um, capturing that and, um, you know, painting pictures and creating light shows and taking photos and, and so many other things, writing and all of this and more is um, when done to make his name greater is just such a beautiful picture of a beautiful and creative God. Um, and it's, yeah. and it's just so cool to see that reflection. Um, and I think, you know, then we could probably talk a long time about all of that and just how thankful for we are, but, you know, I just, um, I encourage everyone listening to just think about, you know, the gifts that you've been given and, and maybe they, aren't gifts that you typically think of um, in reaching other people. But, you know, if, if it's, you know, like Bezalel, how he was a, a gifted um, woodsman, <laughs> like, you know, we don't typically think of that, right. um, yeah. but that was done in his name and, and it was used as an instrument of worship too. So, you know, we've all been given something and so whatever that is, um, use it, use it in creative ways and um, in ways that God leads you to do. Um, and so um, we just, I think both of us would just encourage you to, to do that um, and to, to ask God what that is, because he will show you. Um, so yeah, I, I just thank you, Sam, for sharing your heart um, and just being open with us and for serving um, in the way that you do. And um, before we wrap up, I'd love to just um, pray over everyone listening. Um, so if you want to join me in that, that'd be awesome. Um, Jesus, we just, we love you and we thank you. And in this moment, God, I pray that you would just, um, be with every person that is listening, that you would just, um, show them that you have given them very specific gifts, um, that you have created them in a very specific way. Um, because you love us and you are good and you are creative and you enjoy giving us different gifts and it's not a bad thing to be unique it's a beautiful thing because um, it reflects your uniqueness and your beauty and so I just pray that whoever needs to hear that today would would hear it um, and would be encouraged by it and um, that they would just find their own way to serve you and um, use whatever skill that they've been given as an instrument of worship for you. Um, and I just pray that we would um, be a church that helps them to do that. And I just thank you for this time and thank you for Sam and her heart um, just for you and to lead others in worship to you, Father. And 
And it's your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, thank you again, Sam, for joining us. And thank you, everyone, for listening. And um, I just encourage you to um, tune in for another episode in a couple weeks. Have a great day. Awesome.